I want to bring in some CEOs because it's important to see what CEOs are doing. They look at their business individually. Are they keeping calm and carrying on in the face of these market gyrations or are some of them weighing what to do next? As they watch their own stocks tumble for no reason in some cases. Bringing in IAC, which is the global business many of you have heard of. You probably use their brands. We're talking about Match.com, Angie's List, Investopedia, in a Fox Business exclusive. IAC CEO Joey Levin is, is here with us, along with the CEO of a company in which IAC has a big holding, and that's Angie Home Services. That's Chris Terrell. He's, and of course, IAC owns about 87%. Uh, Joey, right off the bat, uh, what does a CEO do at a time like this? How closely are you watching it? And, and do you kind of tune out, I'll say it, voices like mine and the traders? We do tune it out. There's really nothing we can do. I mean, I probably wish we weren't announcing earnings into a week that looks like this one, but it is what it is. And, and our performance of our businesses this day or this week won't change. Probably Investopedia, one of our websites, will have a good day today and a good week this week on account of people being very interested in, in uh investment issues, but otherwise it doesn't really change our business on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, you, you have a, a very widespread, broad-based business. You've got all kinds of websites, everything from Vimeo, which is music videos. Which, if people want to tune out what's going on in the markets, they're sitting there watching the latest Beyonce video, right? I mean, what kind of traffic are you seeing on your uh, most heavily trafficked sites? Yeah, I don't think other than Investopedia and perhaps Daily Beast, where, which are more, much more news driven, we haven't seen a, a move in our websites or traffic to our sites. I think, uh, you know, I'd like to think that maybe perhaps some of our dating products, this is a time where people are looking for love uh, and, and maybe they'll turn to that in a moment like this, but I don't really expect that market moving around would, would do that. Chris, what about you? You are in that business of home services and the sharing economy, Angie's List, of course, and that is an individually traded stock on its own, A-N-G-I. Uh, do you feel like Angie's, which I guess has outperformed the S&P, right, since all of this drama began, it's down about three quarters of a percent today, but uh, not getting hit nearly as hard as the indexes are? Well, certainly I'm happy that uh, we're doing well. We had a good quarter. Um, you know, I think about uh, our homeowners and our service providers and, uh, you know, how they're conducting their business. I don't really typically worry about the market in this case. And um, I figure this is a you know, temporary thing. And uh, we move forward and just focus on the business and let IEC worry about the bigger picture. Although, yeah. <laughs> Joey, he's letting you worry about everything, so you, you get you get to have the spielfuss, as we as we like to say in French. Just kidding. Um, uh, okay, but Chris, interest rates are at work with a lot of this downdraft. We saw the ten-year yield rising about to about 2.88 percent earlier today. If interest rates rise, and that makes HELOCs, home equity lines of credit, which people use to renovate their homes. Uh, a little pricier, and they start to turn to your sites to do it themselves or find the best bargain. Isn't that, in a way, a real opportunity for Angie's List and your other companies in home services? Uh, well, certainly we want to be there when anyone needs help with their home. So uh, I think it's one of those situations where you know, if the market is such that people aren't moving and they're staying in nesting, we can be there to help them. If uh, you know they want to spend a little bit of money to fix up their home a little bit or they want to spend a lot, we can be there to help them. So our goal is to just have a very vibrant marketplace and to help anybody who needs uh, any kind of help with their home you know, when they need it. Joey, uh, nervousness is right on our screen. The volatility index is spiking 15 percent. That does tend to make some people close their wallets. Uh, have you had no meetings at all about how to continue to power through this kind of sort of national, if not global, because the global markets are following the U.S. markets, how to deal with this kind of stock market move on a day like this where the Dow is now down 667 points? Actually, year to date, I'd say we've seen the opposite, meaning advertisers on our publishing sites are seem pretty eager to spend advertising dollars, and we're seeing that in almost unprecedented ways. Sites like Investopedia, our Dot Dash uh, publishing sites, which is a collection of um, media sites, those are doing very well right now, uh, year to date. Now, I, don't, I haven't looked at the sales figures in the last day or so, but uh, as far as we can tell, the economy seems pretty healthy and people seem pretty interested in, in spending right now, at least advertisers do. Joey, Chris, great to have you stop in and to get the CEO perspective on a day like this. Thank you so much.